YouTube. What is going on today? I hope today is going well for you, your family, your loved ones, your brother, sister, aunt, uncle, mother, father, bars. I hope it's going well for you. Today is a little, it's kind of like, it's just a new video for you guys. Honestly, I'm going over the four star characters I think are a must build for you with like two honorable mentions depending on the situation. Depending on what characters you have will depend on what you stop hitting your microphone, brother. So if you guys like the video, leave a like down below, comment and sub what you guys think is your most important four star characters you want to build or you have built in the beginning or you've heard of being built. So let's get into it. So right off the top, I want to give you, it's going to go by one per element and there's going to be a few, there's going to be a few honorable mentions and it's going to depend on the situation. So honor, but honorable net mention number one is going to be Zhang Ling because the other character is considered the best character in the game and that's obviously Bennett, okay? So for Pyro, honorable mention for me is going to be Zhang Ling because she can carry so hard with her Pyro NATO, it's kind of crazy. But if you have Bennett and you don't have a lot of materials, you don't have a healer, build Bennett and then go to Zhang Ling next because Bennett, I mean, I hate Bennett, not gonna cap. But Bennett's just too good. Honestly, I give Bennett all this shit in the world, but Bennett is actually such a good character. I would say Bennett as a four star is a number one priority for every new player if you have Bennett. He's actually in the shop right now, so if you have the extra stardust and stuff like that, go grab a Bennett. I'm not- I give Bennett so much crap. I hate him, but he is the best four star in the game. He carries, he gives you heals, he gives you buffs, easy to build. So Bennett would be the top number one pyro, four star, and then Zhangling coming in like a second. Unless you already have Bennett built, build Zhangling. Zhangling's so, so, so good. Okay, we're gonna go to Electro. Honorable mention for Electro, I'm gonna give you Beto. Beto has an honorable mention because she can hyper carry and her ult and her E is so satisfying, but her ult does such crazy damage. Even at C0, such crazy damage. If you have Beto, build her, but I would say a more important character to build is going to be Fish. Fish is just an off-field damaging machine. Fish gives you so much off-field damage, so much off-field support. It's wild. Recommend, holy crap. If you have Fish, I would say build Fish as your Electro, and then Beto would come in a close second to putting Beto out there as another one. Honestly, these two in a tandem, put them on a team together, you have unlimited energy recharge. Honest, honest to God, though. Honest, honest to God, though. If we're gonna slide over to Animo, uh, hands down, Sucrose would be the best four-star Animo to build. Better than Traveler, better than Sayu. Sucrose is just an elemental mastery supporting monster. She gives your team so much usability. She has that crowd control. And then whatever element she swirls with is gonna give the element some more damage. So if you have Sucrose, I highly recommend building her. I would probably wait a little bit because Animo and Geo are very resource heavy units or characters. But if you have Sucrose and you're able to build her, I recommend building Sucrose. She is just fun and she's satisfying. When it comes to Cryo, Diona is probably my favorite four star in the game. She heals, she shields, she can buff when you have her C6, which not, uh, not everybody does have. She is easy to run. You just throw her on a, a Favonius Warbow with some crit rate and just... And if you have pieces around for her, literally just toss HP on her. Literally all you have to do. If you want her just to heal and shield you, throw HP on her. You don't even have to have set bonuses for her. Just throw three HP artifacts on her with some crit rate slapped in between and boom, you're good to go. Diona by far is probably my favorite four star because she helps out so much and she makes it to where you don't die sometimes. I love, I love, I love to see it. When it comes to Geo, I had a really hard time with this Geo one and I'm still having a hard time. It's gonna come to a shocker, but I would say, Noelle, if you need a good shielder, or a great shielder and a good healer that can do also some pretty damn good burst damage at high levels of investment. Obviously, you gotta have her C6 for the super, super high damage, but if you just, some healing and some shielding man, Noelle would be a very, very viable option just for that, just for that backup 
in the back of your party when you're like, I'm almost down to like low health. Let me toss out Noel on some heals and throw her shield on and burst and just kind of go to town. I would say I would say Noel's probably your best option for a Geo. Honestly, yeah. As a Geo four star, Noel's great. Um, all right, when it cr comes to Hydro, uh, there's only one option to Hydro. It, it's Xing Cho. Xing Cho is probably the second or third best, in my opinion, four star in the game. It is a, it is a hard toss up. And it is a really hard toss up for me because you have Bennett, Xing Cho, Zhangling, and Sucrose, and Diona. It is Beto. It, it's hard. But he literally carries the pyro element. He makes every pyro character look absolutely insane. So I would say if you have Xing Cho, low levels of investment, low level at C0, this guy will make your Bennett, make your Zhang Ling, make your, I mean, shit, Amber, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not Amber. Your Bennett and Zhang Ling will make them look so good. If you have five star characters, Yoi Mio, Hu Tao, Deluc, no joke. Xing Cho literally carries the pyro elements. You have him build him. 10 out of 10 would build him. Am I forgetting anybody else? Okay, you're gonna see a cut there. I thought I was muted the whole time, but I wasn't, I almost lost my mind. So anyways, when it comes to four star characters, the ones I say you should build in general is going to be Bennett one. God, it's so hard to say. Bennett one, Xing Cho two, Zhang Ling three, Diona four and fish in my opinion. That's my opinion. In my opinion only, I would say those four stars are a very pivotal part to this whole entire game. No joke. That's what I'm going with. You can cap me if you want. That's just my personal opinion. Bennett, Zhang Ling, Xing Cho, Diona, and then fish. Honestly, just any any five of those, any five of those, you're gonna have just great support regardless. So if you guys like the video, leave a fucking like, brother. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, leave a like down below. What is your? I want to know what your guys' opinions are when it comes to the, like best four stars. It is very opinionated because everybody has their opinion on what four stars they think are the best. My opinion, I like Diona a lot because it gives me that sense of security when having her on the field, like having her ult and her her shield up make it just nice same thing with bennett too i don't like bennett but having bennett's ult up build it be built him properly he's going to heal for a metric load of stuff so one of those two probably could just be interchangeable if you have diona build diona if you have bennett build bennett whichever one you want bennett is probably bennett's better for raw damage attack stats but diona c6 getting her to c6 one day if you get her to c6 she gives you 200 extra elemental mastery which is great it really buffs your elemental carries so anyways leave a like down below what's your guys opinions on the force or on the four stars you think you guys we should build or should be focus on and in the future there's going to be more four stars as well i didn't mention like yanfei she can be a pretty decent hyper carry but you get Zhangling guaranteed so Zhangling's just better all around because you have a free one regardless right and then fish fish was free at one point in time fish is on like every fucking banner i swear to god so it just depends on what your opinion is. But yeah, leave a like down below and let me know what your guys' four star, what your what your opinion is on the four star characters you love and you, we should be building, right? Catch you in the